<laughs> we have a freight elevator, yeah. Took that off. How'd you figure that out? So, I mean, we, we've got 38,000 square feet here. And when we first moved into the building, it was one of those things where, okay, we've got enough room here for the next 15 years of expansion. So, I mean, we're filling up, we're not completely full. We definitely have plenty of room for expansion over the next several years, but we're finding, you know, our groove as far as where everything should be, where everything's supposed to go. And it's extremely well organized at this point. I've got an amazing team that I brought on in the last couple of years that really keeps the place humming, right? So we've got a really good flow of, you know, as packaging and raw materials come in, we get things checked in, it goes into process for production. Uh, it's a really, really well organized system. So upstairs is where we keep the things that don't necessarily need as much climate control. So empty packaging, storing bottles, closures, caps, bottles, droppers, uh, boxes, things like that. But of course, you know, a lot of the raw materials require like not just temperature control, but light control. So we have to have all that downstairs in the production area. So, and that's a big part of our quality control procedures for the different credentials that we need for ISO, FDA, things like that. So we have this as kind of a flex space for education. We've used it for events. We had our pajama party here. Uh, the plan was really to make this a dedicated area for education, um, for you know regular trainings that we would have. But then we have our classroom, which is you know we call it the smaller classroom, even though it's gigantic. You know, really nice high ceilings. But the plan was to utilize this more as a larger flex space where we could have up to about 125 people for education. And it, it was a little bit tight, uh, but we found it's much more convenient to still even locally hold those types of size education classes offsite at one of the local hotels and have more of our focused um, larger uh, accounts come in for those types of trainings here in what we refer to as the small classroom, yeah. which still seats about 50 people. I mean, it, it, this is hometown, you know, so I grew up here. I mean, I drew, I grew up driving past this very place, you know, literally thousands and thousands of times. And now to have this as, you know, this is our, this is our home. So it's, it, it's really nice to be able to be here. It, it's, it's somewhat secluded and somewhat remote, but at the same time, it's nice for us because it's very closely centrally located to so many different cities on the East Coast, Philadelphia, New York, Baltimore, DC, everything's like really, really close for us. And then, you know, if we're traveling to Europe, if we're shipping things overseas, or if we're hopping on a plane to get to a West Coast event, it's, it's pretty convenient. You know, the journey and, and you know, where you start and, and where you are now. And I think that's really important for all business owners is to kind of take a step back and look at, you know, where you are, you know, to really truly as, as hokey as it can sound sometimes is to enjoy the journey. Because if you're not, and you know, we are on an incredible pace, you know, the trajectory that we're on now is just so fast. I mean, when people, they, people see the, the um, social media images, they see in our marketing images, they, you know, they see the big building, but when they actually get here, it, I think it's a, a little bit of a shocking moment for people to see just how big of an operation and we have everything that's going on. And even more now with thanks to you, uh, your help of, of bringing, uh, you know, what we're doing here in these four walls to the masses. Uh, I, I think people are just really, really intrigued by, by the business in general and the behind the scenes part of that. And we've always talked about, you know, the pillars of our business being education and research and development and manufacturing, because, you know, that's what my grandfather was doing before he founded Circadia, but to actually see it all happening at the same time on a daily basis, you know, for us, it's, it, it's, a, it's just a, another day. But for people that are coming in, our partners that are coming in from Australia and Canada and Europe and Asia and the Middle East, you know, they come and they just see it. And it's, it's, it's a very, very surreal environment to be a part of because it's like this place sings every day. You know, it's just hopping every day. I use the term a vertically integrated business because that's, that's really what we are. I mean, there's not a lot that we outsource. There's things that we have to outsource as far as, you know, again, the credentials that we need to be able to ship for testing product and third party testing for micro and things like that. But for the most part, you know, we're doing everything internally. We're sourcing our own ingredients. We're doing our own R and D. We're doing all the manufacturing under, underneath one roof. 
And you know, to go from room to room and see the pivot of what is happening over here in R&D on one side, education over here, the actual production batching that's occurring, and then products getting filled, products getting pulled and packed and shipped out to you know, spas and resorts all over the country, all over the world. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's almost magical in a sense for people that have never seen an operation like that before.